Pakistan Federal Minister for Finance Mohammad Aurangzeb has unveiled a budget of rupees 18.877 trillion for the fiscal year 24 to 25 a 30% increase over the previous year On the parliament floor Aurangzeb announced a historic development budget of rupees 1.5 trillion He also declared a 25% salary increase for government employees in grades 1 to 16 and a 22% increase for those in grades 17 to 22 Pensions will rise by 15% Minimum wages in the private sector will increase to rupees 36000 per month up from rupees 32000 last year. Funds for the benzene income support program will grow by 27% to rupees 593 billion for FY25. The government has also increased income tax rates for salaried individuals in the budget. Individuals earning rupees 50000 per month will be exempt from income tax. For those earning between rupees 6 lakh and rupees 1.2 million annually, the income tax rate has been set at 5%. This means that individuals earning up to rupees 1 lakh per month will now pay a monthly tax of rupees 2500 up from rupees 1250. For annual incomes between rupees 1.2 million and rupees 2.2 million, the tax rate has been increased to 15%. Thus, individuals with a monthly salary of rupees one lakh eighty three thousand three hundred forty four will now face a monthly tax of rupees fifteen thousand up from rupees eleven thousand six hundred sixty seven. Incomes between rupees two point two million and rupees three point two million annually will be taxed at twenty five percent monthly salaries of rupees two lakh sixty seven thousand six hundred sixty seven will see their tax rise to rupees thirty five thousand eight hundred thirty four up from rupees 28770 for those earning between rupees 3.2 million and rupees 4.1 million annually the tax rate has been set at 30% this means that individuals with a monthly salary of rupees 341667 will now pay a monthly tax of rupees 53333 up from rupees 47408 Meanwhile, an income tax rate of 35% will be applied to annual salaries exceeding Rs. 4.1 million. State units like PIA and Roswell Hotel will be privatized to promote the private sector, with Rs. 622 billion in liabilities transferred from PIA's balance sheet to a holding company set up in March 2024. Major airports starting with Islamabad International Airport will be outsourced by July 2024. The BISP funds will be raised by 27% with 5 lakh new households included in the program. Aurangzeb noted Rs 5 billion allocated for an agriculture markup scheme with financing to boost the sector, which constitutes 24% of GDP. The energy sector will receive Rs 253 billion, focusing on reducing losses and promoting wind and solar powers. Efforts are underway to freeze debt from power reforms and involve the private sector. The IT sector will receive Rs 79 billion with plans for an IT park in Karachi and efforts to increase exports to $3.5 billion this year. A National Digital Commission will be introduced to advanced digital solutions. The social welfare and education sectors will see Rs 206 billion allocated for water resources, Rs 8 billion for an IT park in Karachi and Rs 206 billion for drinking water projects. Smart screens, tablets, blended learning, and e-libraries will be provided in schools with six-month IT courses offered to students. Overseas Pakistanis will be facilitated in sending remittances with Rs 90 billion allocated for this purpose, recognizing their crucial role in the economy. Aurangzeb presented a positive economic outlook, expecting 3.6% growth in the next fiscal year and keeping inflation around 12%. Significant allocations include defense rupees 2015 billion pensions rupees 1014 billion and power sector subsidies rupees 1363 billion Efforts are being made to attract global climate finance and improve Pakistan's economic growth through a home ground reform agenda The BSDP allocation of rupees 1500 billion will focus on infrastructure social sector development and strategic projects the government is committed to facilitating exporters, recognizing exports as the economy's backbone. Different tax slabs have been implemented for filers and non-filers, with a capital gains tax fixed at 15% for filers and up to 45% for non-filers. 
sales tax exemptions on many products will be reduced or eliminated with an 18% sales tax imposed on mobile phones and motor car taxes based on vehicle prices. BISP beneficiaries will increase to 10 million with sales tax on textiles and leather raised to 15%. Advanced tax scope will expand to document traders while tax on the Pakistan Stock Exchange will increase from 1% to 2.25%. Capital gains tax on non-filers will go on as high as 45% while for filers it will stay at 15%. The FBR will impose personal income tax on income exceeding rupees 6 lakh annually, ensuring higher incomes are taxed more. The government has allocated rupees 4 billion for e-bikes and plans to support exporters through joint ventures, especially with Chinese companies under CPAC Phase 2. The Pakistan Climate Change Authority will be activated to promote solar and wind energy with rupees 206 billion allocated for water projects. Iron and steel scrap will be exempted from sales tax to eliminate the misuse of fake invoices. Tax rates for textile and leather manufacturing will be adjusted from 15% to 18%, which will not impact consumers. The GST on the tire one textile retail sector will be enhanced from 15% to 18%. Sales of cigarettes without tax stamps will be penalized and the federal excise duty on cement will increase to Rs 3 per kg from Rs 2 per kg. Customs duty exemptions on hybrid car imports will be abolished and duties on steel and paper products will increase. Incentives will be introduced for the import of plant and machinery, raw materials and batteries for the solar panel industry. Health insurance will be provided to 5,000 journalists initially and later to 10,000 journalists. Rs 79 billion has been proposed for the IT sector with incentives for importing plant and machinery for the solar panel industry. The budget aims to mitigate people's problems, transform the agriculture sector, promote information technology, boost exports, promote industrial growth, and bolster businesses. It has been formulated considering domestic and international challenges, aiming to present a pro-people business-friendly and progressive federal budget.